How's it going, everybody? Massive legend here. Uh, I got a notebook today, because we're doing something a little special. It still pertains to Pokemon cards, but uh, this might be the last Pokemon card episode I make, at least until Friday. Uh, I definitely don't have much time to be making videos, but I did figure out that I can stream Detroit Become Human from my PlayStation without needing a capture card. And so I will be streaming it privately so you guys can't watch it until I download it. Add in my beautiful or ugly face, depending on who you are. Um, with my camera, you know, because I'll record myself while I'm playing it and shit. And so I will take that video file from YouTube, download it, piece together the two video files, make one video file, and upload it for you guys. I also have Heavy Rain, because Heavy Rain came with Detroit Become Human when I bought it off the PlayStation Store. So that's fucking awesome too. I could, This just opened up my world so much. Like, I thought I was going to have to wait for like a capture card or something. Because I have a capture card, which like, I was planning on using for my Switch. It just has a delay, and it's kind of weird. So I have to slowly piece together, you know, cut out until it perfectly lines up. But, you know, I'll get there eventually. I'm still learning. I've still got a lot to learn, so... Let's get into the Pokemon special today. Alright, so today for you guys, I will be recording the, the cards that I've gotten decently, you know, lately. So first, you know, I put them all in order, blah blah blah, lowest to highest, ranked for price. So first, we will start off with... A reverse hollow, it's in a fucking plastic, so it kind of has a funny, funnier shine to it. But this clots are claw, it's a reversed hollow card. Um, you know, it's pretty nice, I like it. It's got some nice shine to it, it's got some nice artwork down here. Not a bad card, definitely far from first, but yeah. Next up, we have the slacking reverse hollow with you know it's it's pretty as well it's got all this down here um, it's all the reverse hollows have some cool um, artwork down in this general area it's a little bit different because I have it in a sleeve that came with the ultra prism box <laughs> but you know they gave me a shit ton of sleeves so I figured fuck it I'll use it for my good cards alright next up we have a Mew, a hollow Mewtwo promo. I don't know if you can see it very well. Yeah, see, it's got the little dot hollows. So we got this guy right here is our our promo that came with one of our promo boxes or whatever. Usually promos aren't worth too much. You know, this one's obviously not worth a crazy amount, but it's still worth a little bit, you know, compared to most cards that aren't worth, like, anything. So, I really do like this card. It's pretty. It's got some nice artwork. I like Mewtwo. Mewtwo is like one of my favorite Pokemon. Next, we got a trainer card. It is a Reverse Hollow Professor Sycamore. You know, it's got this cool... Po See, the Reverse Hollows always have some cool artwork down there. It's very shiny. I mean, it's also got the gloss from the, the, you know, the case that's holding it or whatever, but it... I guess really it does increase the shine when it's in the case or in the sleeve. But yeah, so Professor Sycamore Reverse Hollow. Oh, next up we have the Darkrai EX Full Art Hollow. Obviously, hollow. Most of these cards are going to be hollow. I think there's only like one that I have that's not hollow, but. Like, I like it. It's got the artwork that wraps all the way around, you know. It's a pretty card. It's not a bad card. It's definitely not the best card. But, that is our Darkrai EX Full Art Hollow. Next, 
we have got Ash's Pikachu. I think this is one of the only ones that I have that's worth any money that's not holographic. Uh, it is a promo for the I, the Pokemon movie I Choose You, the one where Pikachu decides to let it out and talk. You know, kind of strange, but <coughs> I feel like, you know, I, I like this Ash. I like Pikachu cards as well as the Mewtwo cards. I mean, this one's not too great. It's just a promo, but, you know, it is what it is. Next up, we have the Volcanion Prism Hollow. The card itself is hollow, plus it's got the little prism symbol on there. Um, you know, it's not valued super high, but it's still valued more than most cards. So, figured, you know, I'm just, I'm showing you guys all the decent cards that I've gotten lately. Next up, we've got another reverse trainer card. Reverse hollow trainer, uh, Tate and Liza. I think I opened this one up yesterday. Um, the price has already changed a little bit since I looked it up yesterday, so that's nice. I, you get most of my um, prices from uh, Troll and Toad. Uh, they seem to lowball a lot, so I always like to go with the lowball price just because, you know, then I could actually sell it for more money if it is worth more money, but I like to show the lowball price. Next up, we have a full art Venusaur EX hollow it's got the gold rim see it's got gold up here and all the way around it the card itself has some hollow to it it's a nice card uh, Venusaur I really like Bulbasaur Venusaur is not exactly my my favorite um, of the starters definitely Charmander but it's a decent card uh, next up we have the Mewtwo EX hollow with um, I wouldn't call it full art, but you know, it does have the artwork that kind of wraps around and it kind of comes on to there, you know. Decent card. Decent card. Mewtwo EX. And look at that fist. He's just punching. Mewtwo, like I said, Mewtwo is one of my favorite Pokemon. Alright, next up we have the ho -Oh EX. Um, I got this from a, a set that was like a full set because I had one that was ho -Oh and one that was the other legendary in this generation. I bought one of each pack and for some reason they came with two. So there's actually, if you look closely, you can see the one behind it because I just put them both in this same, you know, the same sleeve or whatever. But yeah, so ho -Oh was not my favorite of the two birds from this generation. Lugia, definitely. Lugia EX. Hollow. Um, it doesn't have the gold. It has silver. You know, still pretty nice. And you can't really see it in this one, but there was two cards in this one, too, because it came with two for some reason. I don't, don't ask me why. But the case came with two of the same Pokemon. And next, we have the Dragonite EX Hollow. Uh, full artwork, as you can see, it's wrapping around. Um, it's, it's just, it's beautiful. It's very 3D. I'm not too sure how I feel about that artwork itself. Um, he looks just so fake. I don't know, it's, it's weird. But, good card, decent card. Not bad. <sighs> Next up, we have the Yvetel GX um, full art, you know, because obviously it's full art. There's not even a box around that. So that's definitely what you call full art. Um, hollow, you know, not too crazy, not too bad or whatever, but. Oh, next up we have Palisand GX. Jesus, that has a nice hollow to it. Holy shit. I mean, a beautiful card. Just beautiful. One of my buddies was trying to buy it off me. Not happening, buddy. I'm sorry. I got to wait till the price boosts. <laughs> so then you can buy it. 
he was trying to get me to give him the friend discount. No, thank you. All right. So, next up, it's just a hollow Pikachu, you know. It's just it's just hollow. It's a promo. Um I don't remember what promo this came from. I think it was actually from the one that gave me the pin that I got on my keys right now, but see, it's got some nice all those dots that you see behind Pikachu. That's the hollow effect to it. Not a bad, not a bad promo. Pretty Pretty, pretty promo. Next up is, holy shit, this has some very lot of shine to it. The Alolan Raticate GX, non-promo, finally, another card that's not a promo, but decent. I got this one out of the Celestial Storm. Um, he's, so, he's just so chubby, look at how chubby he was. I mean, he's got an attack literally called Chuck Away, and it doesn't look like he does a whole lot of that. But yeah, so that's another that's another decent. We're definitely getting up into the more expensive range. Um, next we have the Sogaleo, um, you know McDonald's toy. They had a lot of these in, at McDonald's for a while. This is a promo, but it did not come from McDonald's. It came from a Sogaleo GX. I think it was a Shining Legends pack. I could be wrong. Don't quote me on that. But, I mean, full art, GX, it's just, it's just pretty. Look at that. Shh. Look at that. And, so, next up, we have the, let's see if I can fit this in here. The Guzzlord GX, let's get it a little closer. This is the, the big card. The Guzzlord GX promo that came with the Guzzlord pack or whatever, you know, the promo pack came with some booster cards and whatnot. It, it's, it's hollow. It's beautiful. It's nice. It's huge. It's not very uh, practical to use in battle, but it is what it is. <laughs> Next up, we have the Gyarados GX hollow full art. Look at that. Full art. Beautiful, just a beautiful shine. Um, I'm definitely trying to keep these cards in as good a condition as possible. Uh, yeah, this this is why I like to preserve that that hollow shine. It's nice. It's very nice. Coming up next, we got the Alolan Executor GX. He's got full artwork as well, huge, nice hollow shine to it. Holy cow, that's a nice hollow. Yeah, so, what is it? Face tracking on my finger. What the hell? Face track the face, you stupid camera. So weird. So, because that big card is so impractical to use in battle, it also came with a mini version of the same exact card that, I mean, you could choose to use the big one in battle if you wanted. We got the Guzzlord GX Full Art uh, Standard Size Hollow. Nice hollow. I mean, oh, yep, there we go. There's the nice hollow. Look at that explosion behind him. So, you know, it's more practical to use this card than that card, even though they look like they're about the same size from here. They're definitely not. Uh, yeah, so this is the regular one that would be more practical to use in battle. Oh, Alright, next coming up, we got the Full Art Scizor GX Hollow. Not a bad card either. I mean, I know you guys have seen all these cards because I opened them all up for you. But this is just like my collector's edition stuff, essentially. Like, I'm just collecting these until they actually become worth a lot, a lot of money. It's not a bad card. I definitely would love to preserve it. Scizor used to be one of my favorite Pokemon along with Sy uh, Scyther, you know, Mewtwo, Pikachu. Oh, next up we have a Full Art Hollow Lapras GX. It's actually textured, but you can't hear the texture behind there. That's also why I got it in the sleeve to kind of protect that texture. Um, it's beautiful. Look at that hollow shine. Just look at it. So crazy. So crazy. Ooh, next 
next we got our Turtonator GX Secret Rare. It's also textured. I mean, you can't really see it too well, the texture too well in this. But it's textured, it's hollow, it's full art, it is fucking, I love these secret rare cards. They all kind of have the same color pattern, where it's just like rainbow. But, as you can see, 148 out of 145. That's how you know it's a secret rare, if it's above the numbers that are originally printed for the set. Moving on, we got a Mega Blastoise EX. Uh, Full art, hollow. It's got some Japanese writing right there. I don't know what that says, but um, it's obviously it's not a Japanese print card, so I don't know why they would leave the Japanese stuff there. But it's textured as well. Um, it's got some, you know, it looks like fingerprint on it. You can neat, 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 scratch it like a DJ. Um, this card, it's beautiful. So beautiful. I love the fact that it's textured and it's still got all these different colors on it. That's what I really love about it. Next we have the Incineroar GX. Full art, hollow, not textured, not secret rare, nothing like that. But, you know, it's it's still worth decent a decent amount of money, so you got to protect that shine. It's crazy. I love it. Yeah, hexed. We have my one of my most favorite, beloved Pokemon, Charizard. But not just any Charizard, Mega Charizard EX. I mean, it's hollow. It's just beautiful. It's so crazy again with that Japanese writing that I don't know what it says. It fucking does 300 damage, but of course it does 50 damage to itself. Obviously, I don't use these to actually battle. I'm just collecting them till they become worth some decent decent money. Or if anybody wants to offer me decent money for any of these, you know. More than what's displayed on screen, anyway. Next up, we've got the Shining Volcanion. You know, I already had that one Hollow Volcanion back in the, the Prism one. You know, the one that's Prism, not Prism. Um, but it, the Pokemon itself, like, this isn't hollow, this isn't hollow. The hollow part is literally the Pokemon, it's just the hollow print, along with texture. So, I mean, this is a nice card. You definitely want to preserve that. These shining Pokemon, they don't, they don't print a whole shit ton of them. But, you know, these, uh, these packs are still in rotation. So when these packs are no longer in rotation and they're discontinued, these kind of things will just bump up in price. Moving on to the last three, the top three, definitely. We've got the Leafeon GX Secret Rare Full Art. Um, you know, again, with the texture, it's, it's that rainbow color effect. So cool. So pretty. Such a nice card. I didn't expect to pull something like this, but, you know... That's a, that's a nice card. It's very pretty. It's very shiny. It's got the rainbow effect. I like the secret rares. As you can see, 157 out of 156. Not bad. Not bad. Oh, surprisingly, this next card is the Misty's Determination Trainer card. Supporter. Full art, hollow, Ultra rare. It's got texture. This card is amazing. I mean, for for it being a trainer card and being worth so much money at the moment, I can only imagine. I can only imagine where this card is going to go. You know? Like, it's just it's so pretty. It's got some nice hollow to it. It's just fucking... It's so, it's so goddamn cool. And last... But certainly not least, because it is the highest rated card here, Articuno GX Secret Rare Hollow Full Art 171 out of 168. I'm pretty sure all the Secret Rares are all Full Art anyways, but um, essentially Full Art. 
but you know it's got that nice rainbow shine to it it's it's this this is a card man this is a real beautiful lovely fucking card um i i was i almost shit myself when i pulled this yesterday it was just it's such a crazy crazy feeling to pull such a nice expensive beautiful card out of that random booster pack you know but that right there that is my collection of my most expensive Pokemon cards that I have so far. Um, definitely planning on getting more. As you can see, my lava lamp's working in the back now. Um, anyways, yeah, so those are the cards for today. Well, guys, so that's what I got for you today. Um, just, you know, my collection or whatever of the more expensive cards that I have. Have I fucking mentioned to you guys how much I hate fucking summer yet? Um, in Oregon here, in the area I live in, we actually have a heat advisory from 2 p.m. tomorrow until 11 p.m. Uh, three days later. Fucking ridiculous. It's I'm over it. I'm done. I'm ready for summer to be over. I'm ready to start doing some more videos that involve me actually having to put an effort in, you know, fucking research. Like, this stuff isn't isn't hard to do Pokemon cards. It's not that hard. Um, I do enjoy doing it. I love to open shit. Um, you know, oh my god, my face is like melting. I'm done. I'm so done with summer. I'm so John, this is America. Kill me. Um, so yeah, definitely. I definitely got some Detroit videos coming for you guys. Uh, I'm planning on starting to record those probably within the next day or two. Uh, I also have Heavy Rain. I'd like to play the Digimon Next World Order game for you. It reminds me very, very much of the original Digimon World game, the first one, which was somehow the next two or three Digimon World games got turned into a turn-based tactics style game whereas the first one was an open world go out explore with your Digimon if he dies you gotta go back and get a fucking brand new baby one it's, it was just such a great fucking game open world to explore and do whatever the fuck you wanted to I don't know what the fuck happened but this new Digimon World game that came out about a year Maybe a little more than that. Maybe like two years now. I don't know if any of y'all heard about it. There wasn't much press around it. But it's fucking amazing. I fucking love it. It really takes me back. But with better graphics, obviously. Um, I love you all. Have a wonderful day. Try to beat the heat. Bro fist out.